hello everyone welcome to the network security algorithms so in this series we will be studying many algorithms which are used for uh, achieving confidentiality integrity availability etc so the very first algorithm we will be studying is the diffie hellman key exchange algorithm so what is the use first of all what is the use of diffie hellman key exchange algorithm so whenever two parties want to uh, share any confidential information they need to encrypt the data and for encryption we require two things one is the algorithm other is the key so algorithm okay it is assumed that everybody knows the algorithm the attacker as well as the two parties they know the algorithm but the key must be kept secret so how to share the key so here in this case uh, we are we have two parties uh, Alice and Bob and they want to share some secret so they want to share some uh, confidential information so before sharing any information they need to share a key they must agree upon a key okay now uh, this algorithm which we will be studying is the uh, symmetric algorithm in case of symmetric algorithm alice and bob they have the same key but the but the tr the thing is how to share the key so diffie hellman algorithm provides a way by which they can agree upon a key so how does this algorithm work the very first thing is uh, alice and bob they agree upon uh, two numbers okay, p and g okay. so either of them they generate a number p and g where p is a very large prime number and g is uh, in some way related to that number and they share this number let us assume alice is generating his number and this number is shared through an unreliable media okay so alice shares this number through unreliable media and it is received by bob so bob and alice they share this number p and pg let us assume there is an attacker eve which can uh, who, who can access this particular unreliable media and get access to this pg now next what happens alice uh, it okay alice then takes a number x okay, and this number okay is not shared with anyone okay. alice takes a number x and this number is not shared with anyone and similarly bob he uh, uses a number y okay and this number uh, only bob knows Bob only knows this number Y and Alice knows this number X. The next step is using this three information, Alice calculates, let us say R1. Okay, Alice the uses uh, this particular information and calculates R1. So this R1 is calculated in such a way that this R1 is equal to whatever is G raised to this X, whatever X was taken by Alice, which was only known to Alice then mod g so this value r1 okay, sorry this is not mod g this is mod p this is mod p okay. so this three are taken and r1 is calculated this r1 is shared by alice to bob this is passed to bob to this unreliable media so this is given to Bob. So R1 is given to Bob through unreliable media. So even R1 can be accessed by, let us assume R1 is also accessed by Eve. The second thing is Bob does a calculation using these three particular variables. So uh, these three uh, values. Uh, so Bob calculates now R2. Okay. So this R2 is such that it is G raised to Y now this is the y is the private number of uh, bob okay which only bob knows nobody else knows this number and mod p okay now this r2 is shared by Bo bob with alice through the unreliable media so alice knows this the value of r2 and uh, even eve gets the access to this value r2 now the last step which will be done by alice and bob both this will determine the key so what does alice do now she gets this r1 from bob uh, sorry r2 from bob so now alice does this calculation this is very important this calculation r2 raised to her private number that is x and mod p okay. 
so whatever calculations she does this she will get k that is she will get generate a key okay she will get a key k okay. and same calculation with the variable r1 with the number r1 is done by bob so this is r1 r raised to y this is r1 raised to y and mod p okay. mod p now coincidentally he will also get k so it is seen that alice and bob both get the value k by this calculation and they get this this is their secret key now uh, here one of the beauty of this diffie hellman algorithm is that although eve knows r1 r2 p g she won't be able to it will be almost impossible for her to know this k okay so this is how uh, we will just see an example now after this explanation that how we can implement this diffie hellman algorithm and this works in of course it works fine fine Okay. So even after knowing the values of R1, R2, PG, Eve cannot calculate K. Okay. So this was the explanation of a Diffie-Hellman algorithm. Now we'll see how to implement it using Python program, and that will be done by Professor Yasira. Thank you. Okay, students. Today we are going to cover a simple implementation of Diffie-Hellman key exchange method using Python. So you know this is a way through which uh, you know uh, with the help of Python uh, we will see how this DH method allows two people to agree on a shared secret number that is a symmetric key over a communication medium that is not secure. Now students, what is the benefit? Now the benefit of the uh, uh, this symmetric key versus a public key is that the symmetric key can encrypt and decrypt much faster and it is easier to implement. So students, uh, what this code is particularly doing, we have two parties that is Alice and Bob. So the basic purpose over here is that these two parties, they will agree on a shared key that is a symmetric key, shared secret that is a symmetric key over this insecure medium. And students, where an attacker also, suppose Eve is listening. So you know, this particular code first where the Alice and Bob agree on a prime number. Can you see P and the base that is the G. So these number they are not secret and they are known by Eve also. Students very important thing over here is this P must be a prime number. Keep this in mind. And this G th this has to be a primitive root modulo. So do remember this. In this particular statement, we are just printing the value of P and G. Now, students, in the next line, A is equal to 5. Now, see students, Alice and Bob. Then, they can select randomly their own private integer. And that, they can keep secret, even from one another. So, A is equal to 5 is a secret number for Alice. And B is equal to 3 is a secret number for Bob. And these two numbers, these are secret uh, from each other. Next, students, Alice will then calculate uh, the number. So, for this, it is uh, using the, the uh, calculation formula is uh, G raised to A mod P. So, basically that we had done with the help of the Python function power. So, G comma A P. And students, after calculating the number, Alice will send this number to Bob over the insecure channel. The same way, students, over here, Y is the uh, calculation for Bob. Bob will calculate the number and it will send this number uh, over the insecure channel. Now, in the later part, can you see over here, K, A and K, B. Now, this particular line is to compute the shared secret. The shared secret will be computed by the um, formula B raised to A mod P and for Bob it will be uh, A raised to B mod P. Now Alice and Bob they will have a shared key. Can you see over here? And this even the uh, attacker that is Eve will not know. And even though e know, Eve knows the value of P, B, A and B, the attacker will not be able to guess the shared secret. So basically, this is the Python implementation. We will just run the code and we will understand the output. So can you see over here, students? P, it is the prime number. 
G is the primitive root modulo 9. Can you see over here the number? Secret number for Alice is 5 and for Bob is 3. And can you see symmetric matlab kya? The key, the secret key will be both same. So, see students, even if you change this number over here. Suppose if I write over here 4 and over here if I write some random number. Still the key, the secret key for Alice and Bob should be same. So, can you see over here, in spite of changing this secret number, the key is same for both Alice and uh, Bob. So, this is the DH algorithm. Thank you.